Thank you so much. Sante kiongozi wa Senate. Watu wa Shinyalu hamjambu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asante mimi sitakuwa mwingi wa maneno sababu masaa yamesonga kusonga. La kwanza ni mshukuru ndugu yetu Mheshimiwa Fred Ikana ambaye ni kiongozi kama alivyosemwa na viongozi wengine tunaye mtambua na kumheshimu sana kwa bunge la kitaifa. Na huyu Fred kama ilivyosemekana ni mtu ambaye anaelewa mambo ya economics na hesabu vilivyo na tunamtegemea sana kwa bunge. And is also a very committed leader kwa mambo ambayo inagusa maisha na hali ya maisha ya watu wake wa hapa Shinyalu. Yale yamesemwa hapa ukipatika, ukipatikana na mheshimiwa Fred Bunge akianza sentensi ya kwanza huwa anaanza na unajua kwetu Shinyalu. Sasa bunge mzima inakuwa mjadala ni mambo ya Shinyalu. Na nimeshukuru Mungu kutupea nafasi ya kuungana na yeye hapa Shinyalu leo. La pili mheshimiwa Prime Cabinet Secretary, Mheshimiwa Speaker wetu wa bunge la kitaifa, Governor wetu wa hapa Kakamega na Governor wetu wa Bungoma. Mimi nimefurahi pia kuwa kwa kongamano kama hili la kanisa ambalo pia limewaleta pamoja viongozi wote wa sehemu hii ya Western Kenya. Na sababu Padri alituambia wakati Western Kenya itakuwa na unity na muongee kwa lugha moja siasa ya Kenya itabadilika na mimi nataka ni pige muhuri hiyo maneno ya kuwa sio wakati kutakuwa na lugha ya unity because through our two great leaders our brothers prime cabinet secretary and speaker wetangula the western region set the space the peace in establishing the Kenya Kwanza government na nataka niseme vile ndugu yangu Aaron Teruyota amesema January mwaka uliopita wakati wa earthquake hapo ndio wasiwasi ilituisha tukajua kama speaker weta is in the house kama ma DVD is in the house na Kenya imepata earthquake tukajua serikali tumeipata and I must pay tribute to you two great leaders from this region. My brother Musalia Mudavadi, my brother and senior speaker Wetangula. Without you, without your support, the kind of alienation those who governed our country before last year's elections that wanted to alienate our president and those of us who are working with the president. You demystified that alienation. You brought together not Western Kenya, North Western Province, you unified Kenya under the Kenya Kwanza administration that is now governing our country today. Kwa hivyo ni washukuru, ni wambie kama sio nyinyi mheshimiwa ma DVD na speaker weta hatunge kuwa na serikali leo. Na kwa hayo tunawaheshimu na tunawaenzi sana na ndio mkituita leo na siku zijazo tuko nyuma yenu sisi wote. La mwisho sababu mheshimiwa bishop hamala aliongea mambo ya bei ya mafuta and it is true i want to associate myself with the sentiments of bishop hamala the challenges that bedevil our country today not just the cost of fuel but the high cost of living cannot be solved through opportunism and i have seen our colleagues in azimio trying to be opportunists to ride on the cost of fuel that is not a Kenyan issue that is a global issue and I want to say we shall only solve the question or the problem of the cost of living by working together as our leaders here today are showing us under the able leadership of President William Ruto and our Deputy President Rigathi Gashagua. Nataka niseme the problem is not more so about the cost of items. The problem is about low incomes. 
shida ambayo tuko nayo sana sio bei ama gharama ya chakula na ma maisha kuwa juu shida kuu ni kuwa mwananchi hana pesa ya kugaramia hayo maisha ambayo yanapanda and therefore suluhu sababu mafuta inapanda dunia mzima bei ya maisha itaendelea kupanda bei ya mafuta ikipanda duniani vile tulivyoambiwa hapa hata na mheshimiwa uh, Titus Hamala na mheshimiwa Wangwe bei ya mafuta ikipanda na gharama ya maisha ikipanda tujiulize tutapandisha incomes kwa njia gani and i want to say the solution to the high cost of living is to make sure that our incomes and the incomes of our people rise in a commensurate manner with the cost of living and i must thank our government under president william ruto prime cabinet secretary mheshimiwa wetangula our deputy president and all of us serving in kenya kwanza because aware that we are dealing with a global economic issue we have purpose to focus on growing incomes for the ordinary mwananchi to hakikisha ya kuwa mkulima wa miwa hapa western kenya anapata pesa zaidi kwa mfuko yake na ndio juzi tukiwa bonge tulipitisha ile memorandum ya national treasury ya kuhakikisha madeni ya factory zetu zote za miwa yamefutiliwa mbali ili hizo factory ziwezeshe wakulima wapate pesa zaidi mifukoni ndio maana unaona tukiwauliza mjiandikishe kwa mambo ya fertilizer subsidized so that you are able to produce more food get more money and a higher income in our pockets and be able to afford the high cost of living therefore nataka niwahakikishie chini ya uongozi wa serikali ya Kenya kwanza inaongozwa na kiongozi wetu William Ruto we shall remain focused on ensuring that we enable the people of Kenya to increase their disposable incomes to be able to afford the high cost of living ili wa Kenya waweze kugaramia maisha yao we shall not focus on the naysayers on those opportunists who want to ride on a global problem like the high fuel costs to be able to make political fodder out of it as a focus on opportunism we shall focus on ensuring that we write off debts to sugarcane farmers we write off debts of our sugar companies we avail affordable and subsidized fertilizer to our farmers to ensure that a higher disposable income is available to all our people ili tuweze kugaramia maisha kwa hayo mengi Naomba nikomeshe hapo ni muulize kwa heshima governor wa Kakamega County ndugu yangu ambaye ni mhasibu ni CPA kama mimi ndugu Fernandez Barasa atuhutubie na nikimalizia huyu CPA tumuheshimu sababu ndiye governor saa hii ndiye governor sio governor na najua wale opportunists including those who are governors here like Oparanya must now recognize that there is only one governor governor Fernandez Barasa kwa hivyo nimuulize ndugu yangu wa Paranya aheshimu huyu governor ambaye anafanya kazi saa hii na aheshimu Musalia Mudavadi kama kiongozi wa hapa Western aheshimu Wetangula kama kiongozi wa Western ili watu wa jamii ya mulembe tusonge na Kenya ingine tuungane pamoja tujenge Kenya moja ikiwa strong kwa hivyo mkiona ndugu yangu wa Paranya mumwambie wakati tulimuomba aungane na sisi tutengeneze serikali alienda akatuuza kwa uhuru Kenyata tukalimwa tukalimbwa lakini Mungu alali na hakuwa nalala either Ishaweri ama Kayole Mungu alikuwa kwa kiti chake na leo hii Mheshimiwa William Ruto ni rais. Mheshimiwa Mudavadi ni prime cabinet secretary. Mheshimiwa Papa wa Roma ndiye speaker wa national assembly ndiye bosi yangu na huyu Fernandez ambaye ni CPA kama mimi. 
ndiye governor wa hapa na hakuna taswishi karibu Asante sana majority leader prime cabinet secretary wetu ambaye ni kijana wetu mkubwa mheshimiwa Musalia Mudavadi uh, speaker wetu wa national assembly ambaye pia tunamuhenzi sana na viongozi wote ambao wako hapa tumsifu Yesu Kristu daima na milele CWA strong in faith sifa za bikira Maria good family and good church kwa ya tumsifu Yesu Kristu asanteni kwanza kabisa ningependa